tell you, this is my first attempt at this sort of thing. I don't know whether the setup's going to work because uh, I've never tried it. I don't know whether the bike's going to be too noisy for you to hear anything I'm saying. I don't know if there's going to be too much wind noise. So let's just give it a go. Look at the quality of the roads around here. We're really lucky to have high quality roads. Makes riding a lot more interesting. Yeah. What pothole should you go through and which one should you shouldn't you? I'm really lucky to uh, live in the south Eng of England here, uh, sort of out in the new forest. Um, just literally within half a mile or so of where I live, you're straight out into the forest. Has its own hazards, um, you'll probably see some of them uh, as we get out there shortly. You know what, it's surprising. Uh, I'm just sort of 46 years old now, this is my first Harley. I think they're a little bit like Marmite. You know, um, you either love them or hate them. It's strange because uh, I was stood in a supermarket literally two or three weeks ago and I was thinking, well, I really want something different for a snack. And I was stood there and there was a pot of Marmite and I've always said my whole entire life, I don't like Marmite. And I stood there looking at it and I thought, well, why don't I actually give it a try? And you know what? It's strange, I loved it. I think I'll be getting more. I think Harleys are a little bit the same. Um, I love this, but most of my mates are still in, most of my mates are still in the phase of, they don't like this style of bike, they like their races. Yeah, at least I've got a couple of friends that um, appreciate this type of bike. Actually, I think I've changed. Yeah, I can't decide what way to go. I think I'm going to go straight over. Give you a look at some really crappy roads. Mind you, actually, you're quite lucky in this area. Some of the roads. Well, most of the roads aren't that bad. I drive a gas tanker for for a living, and of course, the sheer nature of it, most of the people live in the middle of nowhere that have to have gas delivered. And that really does mean going out through some really nasty, shitty little roads. Having said that, I do love my job. Now we just passed over a cattle grid there. The reason being that out in the new forest, as you can see, lovely little area, you can come across almost any animal completely free. Horses, ponies, donkeys, pigs, cows, they're all generally roaming around. There's a lot of wild deer as well. I had a mate once, a few years ago, uh, rode a motorcycle straight into the side of a horse one night, doing about 30 miles an hour, wrote off his motorbike. So there you go, there's a couple here down at the bottom of the hill. Again, they're not too, too sure about the noise the bike's making, but Uh, 
I think uh, the ponies and the horses being free like that is one of the big tourist attractions in this area, you know, during the summer. Play tourists all over the place. But I don't know too many other places in this country where the animals just roam completely freely like this. In fact, I'm not sure if there is anywhere apart from the New Forest area where... Again, the other thing you've got to be careful here is uh, all of the roads are really quite narrow. And because there's quite a high level of tourists in this area that don't know the roads, you, know, you tend to find them coming towards you on the wrong side of the road. Or just people randomly walking in the road. Still, it's a lot better in an area like this than living in a city like somewhere like London, you know. There's a lot of people live in the likes of London and uh, they'd have never experienced anything like this. You know, a lot of kids wouldn't know what it's like to live in an area like this. A lot of the land around us here now, at this moment, is um, private farmland. But once we get a little bit further out into the forest, a lot of it's just forestry commission public land that uh, you're, you're welcome to go out and walk the dogs in, have a picnic, whatever you want. Just passing through a little village now called Exbury. It's a little bit of a historical village, but um, got really big uh, gardens, which is quite a uh, tourist area. We're just going to be heading now. We're just a few miles away from an area called Bewley, where uh, Lord Montague lived. Um, there's a big motor museum and Beaulieu Abbey and you know quite a nice little area to visit in the summer My little boy only reached two years old a couple of months ago. I can't wait for another couple of years when he's a lot more aware of his surroundings than he is now, so that uh, you know, I can bring him to a lot of places like this. You know, just bring a, a picnic and a bat and ball or something and and they'd love it. Bring the dogs out. You know, if you know the places to go, it can be a very cheap place to entertain yourself with. You know, there's a few little rivers and that locally that, um, you know, if you've just got a, a hook and line, you don't need a rod, you can just go fishing for little minnows. Used to do that as a kid myself. Um, where we are, there's, there's a lot of really good beaches locally and uh, could go sea fishing, crabbing. You know, not too far away is Hive Marina. It's all really rocky there, so you get loads and loads of crabs in around the rocks. Yeah. Don't need to have a hook, just um, yeah, a bit of luncheon meat or something and on the end of a string and you can uh, bring them up so you can catch the biggest crab. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to uh, a 
those times ahead. The only thing uh, in an area like this is um, there's quite strict speed limits, maximum of uh, sort of 40 miles an hour because there's so many wild animals get caught. Okay, I've got an issue now. Didn't check how much fuel I had, so I'm gonna head back home from, from here once we get out towards Bewley. Um, there's another road, goes back home. I only really wanted to come out and test whether this setup works. Also, I literally just fitted the uh, Vance and Hines pipes on this bike this morning. So, uh, again, just wanted to get out and uh, you know, just enjoy them a little bit, really, because this is one of the first good days of, of the year. It's still really cold overnight. Yeah, it's still still reaching temperatures of no higher than six degrees celsius at night um two mornings ago i had to uh, scrape the ice off the car first thing in the morning because um there's a good coating of it it reached minus one overnight and there was a little bit of frost so everything was covered so uh Temperatures at the moment are only about 12 degrees Celsius, so it's still relatively cool. And loads of ponies over there. Not seen any cows yet. There's quite often a few congregate up here on the common. So yeah, 12 degrees. It's not particularly warm. But we're now in uh, the beginning of April, so uh, hopefully just another few weeks and uh, we should be in temperatures of sort of 19, 20 degrees and that's a lot more bearable. There's a nice little pub up here just on the left hand side. It's uh, quite a popular pub now because there's not a lot of pubs left in this area or, um, you know, a lot of them have uh, closed down in the distance there that's uh, a big uh, SA oil refinery. There's a direct pipeline between here and uh, London Heathrow Airport. I actually have to come in here every day and load my tanker, my gas tanker, within the uh, SA oil refinery. They say that if there was a major incident in this place that uh, there's enough aviation fuel and stuff in there to blow up most of the Southampton area, really. It's a little bit less patient than what I am. You know what, some days I'm like that, I'll overtake everything that's in front of me, but uh, today I'm just happy to uh, Enjoy my first day out on the bike of this year. Like I said, it's the beginning of April now. The last time I rode this was uh, the end of November when it was due for its thousand mile service. And uh, not used it since. So uh, I forgot I'd intentionally left it relatively low on on petrol because it tends to uh, deteriorate quite quickly so uh, I intentionally didn't leave too much in there so that I can go and get some fresh fuel totally forgot about it 
Uh, it's okay. Nothing too major. Just on the right hand side here, um, they're burning a new house. Still got the pub sign out the front. It used to be the um, Bridge Tavern. It was quite a nice local local pub. Um, but again, like a lot of pubs in the area, it's uh, closed down about three or four years ago. And unfortunately, vandals over the years broke in and completely wrecked the place um, to the point that they had no no option but to to literally bring the bulldozers in and uh, flatten it. This little fella is not going to like my motorbike at all, is he? I'm going to pull over. What am I going to do? Okay, he didn't like the noise of the bike. I would have pulled over and stayed behind them, but... Uh, silly really they could uh, they know that he's not too steady around traffic and stuff and yet they still walk him right on the roadside mind you if he wanted to go crazy the, the two of them the two girls they wouldn't be able to stop him and drag him straight across the ground <laughs> 